Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through the process of how to add clothing layers to your character, uh, your G3 character in Photoshop. So once again on the screen right now we have our Elastic Folks female, the side facing character right here. And what we need to do first is take her into composer mode. So I'm going to have her selected and go directly into composer mode because this is where we can launch uh, the PSD. And again you need the pipeline version of Crazy Talk Animator to do this. Alright, so with our character we go over here to launch to external PSD editor. And I'm going to select head and body in a single file. I've popped up image scale a little bit here just to give us a bigger, uh, a higher PSD resolution of 2.5. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And again, it'll come up with this notification. Uh, the vector elements will be converted into an image element. We don't need to worry about that right now. Let's just go ahead and press OK. And in just a moment here, it'll load our uh, character template up in Photoshop. So what I want to do first is get rid of all the bone layer naming here because that's unnecessary right now. I'll just go ahead and make that invisible. Uh, RL bone human group will make that invisible. And then under the RL talking head, we have a head bone group right here. Let's also make that invisible. All right, so now we have our character good and ready to go. We don't need the bones because we're just modifying the clothing and our character's skin. All right, so let's take a look now at this other PSD file I have loaded up. This is the clothing for my character. Now, uh, one thing to notice, if you uh, have your Move tool selected here in the top left, you can also use the V hotkey. You can have an option for Auto Select. And when you do that, you can just select basically any item on your screen. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and select this uh, hip, for example. And it'll just move that. If I select it, just Control-Z that to move it back into position. If I select this uh, top of my thigh here, it'll automatically select the layer and move it accordingly, okay? So that's a really quick way to, you know, just select whatever layer you have, or you, whichever layer you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the hip layer first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, click the hip layer, I'm going to click and drag it over to my character template, and just kind of place it on my character in the correct position, you know, somewhere like this. That looks to be just fine. All right, we'll work with that. And you can see it imported in uh, this layer right here. Now, if we want this character to update in Crazy Talk Animator, there's a couple things we need to do. What I'm going to do is we're just going to go ahead and twirl down the RL image. So again, these are all the image groups uh, for your different sprites in Crazy Talk Animator. If we make the uh, left thigh invisible right there, for example, it'll uh, uh, make the left thigh invisible, the left hand, and so on and so forth. And each of these groups is the correct layer. Well, the hand has a bunch of layers. Uh, for all the different hand gestures. You can see right here, seven okay fist, everything. And the arm will be simple, just one single uh, layer for our left arm. Because the arm can't make gestures, unfortunately. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this hip, because this was our hip, if you recall, in the previous uh, PSD. I'm going to uh, twirl down the hip group right here, and I'm going to click and drag this layer into my hip group and place it on top. Okay, so now we have this layer in the hip group. If we wanted to update into Crazy Talk Animator, what we need to do is take a look at the naming conventions of our groups. So I'm going to double click on the hip group and I'm going to name this plus hip. Okay, now if you put a plus before any of these groups in Photoshop, what's going to happen is uh, Crazy Talk Animator, when you import it in, when you save your file in Photoshop, it's going to basically merge all the layers underneath this group. So if you have a plus before the hip or plus before the left arm or what, whatever, it's going to merge all the layers in that group. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's give it a, let's give it a test right now. So let's go ahead and go to File and Save. And once we've saved, we can go into Crazy Talk Animator. We'll load up in just a sec here. And there we go. Our character's torso has been updated. So let's uh, make the bones invisible there. Now let's take a look at our torso. We go to the torso, go to Sprite Editor, and you can see we only have the single hip sprite. We don't have two separate layers or two separate sprites. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that for now and go back into Photoshop. Let's try another example here. This time let's use the left arm and the right arm. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my uh, uh, clothing templates here. Again, we're going to just uh, select this one here. I'm going to hold Shift and select my right sleeve as well. So we can move them both together just like this. I'm going to click and drag those both into my template and just kind of place them. Oops, let's undo that. Let's just click over here and I'll place, let's actually just deselect auto select for now and just select these objects manually. I'm going to bring this one over to position right about here 
Okay, you can see maybe it looks a little bit small. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So maybe it looks a little bit small. In that case, if it's kind of too small, you can go ahead and press Control T for your transform and just kind of make it a little bit larger. If you hold Shift and click, it'll kind of scale uniformly. Or you can just click on any one of these sections right here and uh, you know, do it manually as well. I tend to try and do it uniformly. I tend to uh, see that best results with that. Okay, and then press enter when you're done transforming. And we'll, we'll worry about that little sliver there for now. Okay, so that's our left arm taken care of. Let, or that's our right arm taken care of, rather. Let's do the left arm now. Let's bring it over just like this. And we need to make sure that this object here, we'll place it above our left arm on the layer. Click it by clicking and dragging there, just so we can see it above the actual arm there. Again, control T to transform it. Oops, we selected the wrong thing there. Let's select our vector object there. Control T. Nope. It should be. Uh, there it is inside the left arm layer. Okay, already. So control T right here. And just uh, scale her up a little bit, just like that. Okay. Maybe a bit more over here as well. Uh, this thing's being a little tricky on me here. All right. We'll work with that. All right. So there's our left arm object in the left arm group. And this is our right arm object. We're going to click and drag that into the right arm group down here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave the left arm group named the way it is. Okay. And for the right arm, I'm going to use right arm plus. Okay. So just like I did with the hip, and we're going to see the difference here between the left arm and the right arm. So let's go ahead and save that one more time and go back into crazy talk. Now again, keep in mind the right arm section is the one that, uh, if you go to the right arm here, you can see if you go into the sprite editor, there's our right arm all updated and everything good to go. With the left arm, however, what's happened is because we basically we go to the sprite editor here, because we had that layer on top, we're going to have two separate sprites for the left arm because I did not put that plus before the group name. Okay, so now we have two separate sprites on two separate layers, which correspond to the two separate layers in Photoshop. All right, so that's what happens when you don't put the plus before the group name in Photoshop. All right, so let's go ahead and remedy that. Let's go back into Photoshop here and put the plus before the left arm there, just like that. And then if we go ahead and save that one more time, back into Crazy Talk Animator. In just a moment, we should be able to see, there we go. All right, so now both arms have a single sprite. Now, if by any chance you want to totally ignore, if you want to have a character without a leg or something like that for any reason, you want to totally ignore any of the groups that are already on the character, well, then you can go ahead and uh, let's, you know, take off her right leg or left leg, for example, here. So I'm going to go to left thigh, and you can see under there, there's just a single image there. I'm going to just double click it, and I'm going to put the subtract symbol before left thigh. What this is going to do is that's going to totally, uh, when it imports into Crazy Talk Animator, it's going to totally ignore everything in this group from now on. So if I go to File and Save and back into Crazy Talk Animator, our character should not have a left leg, all right? So it's basically ignoring everything in that group. We still have the left foot, but just not the left thigh, everything under the group name left thigh. All right, so that's pretty, much pretty simple. Let's go ahead and uh, go back into Photoshop and let's restore her uh, left thigh there. Restore the name really quick. Let's import in everything else. So again, this is a simple process of, uh, let's just take these uh, auto select here again. I'm gonna select this uh, left thigh. We're gonna place this on our character's uh, left thigh. It's down here, it's more like a calf, but the naming is called left thigh, all right? So uh, right here, bring that over. Oh, goodness sakes. Deselect that. All right, here we go. Place it just like this. All right, looking good. And of course, we want to rename this to, oops, plus left thigh. All right, there we go. And then the same thing for the other items right here. So let's do the left foot now. Left foot, click and drag that in just like this. We'll place it right on top. And uh, again, we don't want this in the left thigh uh, group. We want it in the left foot group here. So let's open that up and bring that up here. There we go. 
Oop. Make sure that we don't have that. Uh, you can actually auto select the layer as opposed to the group there. All right, there we go. That fixes everything for us. All right, and there's our uh, left foot all set up and good to go. And again, we need to rename that left foot to plus left foot. And the process is basically the same for everything else. So um, if I just, you know, select this item right here, I can drag it uh, to the right thigh area, place it on my character where I need it to be. Again, try and uh, bring it into the right uh, group first of all. So right uh, thigh right here. All right. And uh, rename the group name to plus right thigh again. And we'll do the last for the um, right foot here. And uh, let's just uh, bring that in like this. And uh, and drag that object into the right foot group. All right. And you can open up before or after. Totally up to you. Let's kind of just place this right there. All right. Maybe a little bit forward or backward there. Looks like the toes are poking through on the other one there. Let's just uh, plus right foot and left foot this object here. The toes are poking through there. We can just make this one invisible. All right, we're good to go. And uh, all right, so that's basically it. Uh, we can do all the other stuff here. I'll just fast forward really quickly for you guys. And uh, we'll come back in just a moment here. Alright, so notice as well that we don't need to put uh, plus in front of L hand and uh, R hand down here. And that's because those we want those to keep those as separate sprites. So if the left hand, if we twirl that down, you can see we have the different uh, sprites, like the victory, the seven, for example. Okay, these are all just different sprites. And we want to keep those on separate uh, layers uh, so they can uh, be added to our separate sprite library in Crazy Talk Animator 3. All right, so we're good to go here as well. And notice that I've basically attached all this stuff to the hip uh, as well. So if we go to the hip section here, we have uh, all these separate items I've put into the hip group here, all right? So basically anything that's on our, your character is uh, midsection here, you wanna put that on to the hip group right there. And let's go ahead and save that out. Make sure all the group names are have a plus in front of them. And then when we're uh, in Crazy Talk Animator, it should update any moment. There's our fully functional character. We can preview her and have her give us a uh, how do you do. All right. We've given her some nice uh, cowboy clothing. All right. So that's really all there is to it. So just adding the uh, separate clothing layer onto your character uh, in Photoshop. Make sure you add a plus to those uh, group names if you want to have it, uh, all the layers, all the sub layers merged in your group. And if you want separate sprites, like in the hands, for example, make sure that you just leave the naming uh, normal and if you want to totally ignore that group or that sprite then put a negative uh, minus symbol in front of your group name all right so thanks so much for watching guys hopefully you learned a lot make sure you check out our youtube channel for other crazy talk animator 3 tutorials and i'll see you in the next video